Hello, this is Easy Target, and here I'm back at you with another Diablo 3 video. In this video, we're going over quality of life changes that need to be happening in Season 12 of Diablo 3. Uh, some of these things um, aren't as necessary as others, and some of them are pretty damn necessary because it's pretty annoying because you're sitting there forever trying to craft something or something like that. But we'll go over them. Um, I got about seven of them, and then from a comment before, uh, I'm going to add an eighth one here. Uh, the bounty resets while playing with a group. Uh, that needs to be changed because while playing bounties and going through and finishing all your bounties, after you're done with the group, you basically have to leave group, make another group, and start all over again. Um, it needs to change just because on PC you can just stay in the same group and just reset. Um, you, can, you still have to back out and reset it, but you don't lose every member, and every member doesn't have to rejoin your group. Um, then, the second one, uh, Greater Rift number while you are doing your Greater Rifts. Um, that's not a very big issue, but while you're Greater Rifting and you want to just double check which Greater Rift you're doing, it would be nice to have it up in the top corner like it is on PC as well. Um, you can always pause it and see what Greater Rift you're doing if you did forget, um, but it would just be easier if it was up in the top corner or something. Um, organize your gems after a Greater Rift and have them organized, like have a way to change it, like if you're at the blacksmith, just be able to change it from um, current equipped to highest um, leveled up or lowest leveled up. So you don't have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen just to get to uh, the ones that you're looking for. Um, if you don't know already though, you can just push to the right on the D-pad and then down. And then that will basically auto-scroll you down to the bottom. It goes very, very quick versus trying to do it uh, with just the down arrow on the D-pad. Um, then multiple gym crafting at the same time. Um, if you haven't noticed already, you have to create one gem after another, after another, after another, and keep clicking that button until um, all your gems are crafted, and then you have to go to the next one, and then you have to craft all those, and then go to the next one and craft all those. If it was something set up like your inventory, whenever you're putting things into your stash, like if you're putting your gems into your stash, it pulls up how many you want to put in there. Uh, something like that would be very, very helpful. Um, it's not shouldn't be a very uh, hard fix, just needs to be implemented into the uh, console version uh, because on PC you don't have to click on every single one, you can put a number in and get it changed or crafted to how many you want in. Um, and then while you're in your stash and you're looking at your items, it'd be nice to be able to junk things out so while you're comparing things in your stash and in your inventory, um, you can just go ahead and junk out the ones that you don't want anymore versus having to back out of everything and um, get out of your stash, then junk it out, uh, and go back to trying to clear out your stash. Just makes it a little bit easier for clearing out your stash. Um, augmenting your gear. Um, it is very, very annoying to augment your gear because whenever you go over to the cube, you have to um, take the gear off and then find it in the big old list of stuff. Um, it does prioritize it a little bit after you take it off. I think it puts it up towards the top of what you have in your inventory. Um, but it is still very, very annoying um, to have to take off your gear just to augment it. So just having a section to where you can augment gear that is equipped would be very nice. Uh, then last thing that I have is the um, Paragon level while looking at the leaderboards would be nice to look at and know what the person is on Paragon levels just so you know what your competition is. But just looking at somebody that's 1000 Paragon versus your 2000 Paragon, um, then you think why can't I do the um, greater rift levels that he's doing and it's no, no question if he's at 1000 and you're at 200. Um, but if you don't know that, you're kind of thinking that you're on the same boat, but you aren't on the same boat because he is 800 Paragons ahead of you with all those extra points and whatnot. Um, then, lastly, uh, something that somebody had brought up before that they had noticed a lot of drops for other classes had happened for them um, in Season 10. Um, I am actually seeing that in Season 11 here playing the um, Necromancer here, I've been seeing a lot of uh, other class stuff dropping for me. Uh, so, I don't know if they can fix that. 
not to have other class stuff drop while you're going because it's very annoying to have something else drop, especially if it goes uh, ancient or whatnot. And God forbid if it was a uh, primal ancient, that would make me furious. Um, but that was the last thing that I had. Um, there's other little little things here and there that may uh, need fixing for quality of life. Uh, maybe some really big glitches or cheats or something that also maybe get fixed, but these are the ones that I'm bringing up. Um, if you have any suggestions, just go ahead and put them down in the comment. Hopefully they'll listen in the future. Uh, this is Easy Target, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.